Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to install the SM64 Builder tool and recompile SM64 for your PC. I'll start off with what you need. First of all you need a SM64 US ROM. Again I can't just give you the file since this would actually be really illegal and I could really get sued because I'm not just downloading a ROM from the internet but I'd be distributing the ROM too. The only thing I can do is to tell you that you'll find a ROM file on the internet for sure. However you can get it legally, this means a lot more effort though, but it's not impossible. In order to do it legally, you need to buy a SM64 US cartridge and dump the game yourself onto your PC. Nintendo made a pretty good tutorial on this, so yeah, that's that. SM64 Builder 2 now doesn't require the ROM file to be in the .z64 format anymore, so your ROM will work no matter if it's .z64, .n64 or .v64. Next you need the package I prepared, I put a download link to it in the description. Now we begin the installation process. First you run the msys2.exe file and install it. You can choose the location in which the program will be installed. msys2 is a shell for the SM64 builder tool, that's why you need it. After the download you can delete the installer file. Next you create a new folder. You can name it however you like. Now you drag and drop the sm64builder2.exe in the folder and run it. It will automatically install and at the end ask to look for updates for msys2. You can just click yes and the program will be installed. On this screen you can select all the repositories and download them. This will allow you to choose all the options you want. They even added new ones like ROM hack. The following screens are pretty self-explanatory and therefore I'll skip them. There are just preference options. Choose whatever you like. After you selected all the options, you can hit compile and it will now recompile SM64. After the successful recompilation, it will show you this message and open the folder with the .exe or start the game automatically. And that is basically it. Now you can play Mario 64 on your PC. If you have a controller, the game will automatically map all the buttons for you. However, if you don't like the button mapping, you can change it anytime in the settings. And much more. Here is some footage of the game. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach.
최고. And that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed and leave a thumbs up if this helped you and consider subscribing for more Mario and gaming content. Also you can check out my discord server where there are announcements, video notifications and more. Bye bye.